Uh, I'd like to talk about uh, the bear. I'd like to talk about the bear, too. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Uh, Donna. Anyone who's a fan was totally floored by your performance you as so Donna Brazzato in this intense, um, beautifully acted, portrayed, raw episode of TV. I think that's probably the best way to describe yeah. it. You have a really magical story about how it came to happen. Okay, th I'm telling you people, <laughs> trust yourselves. Mm. So, you don't know this, and I won't go into it, I met my husband because I saw his picture in a magazine and said to my girlfriend sitting next to me on a couch, oh, I'm gonna marry that guy. Oh. Never heard of that, anyway. I've said that too and it didn't work out the same way, so. I think everybody has said it with Jeremy's pictures and his underwear and we're all like, I'm I've gonna definitely marry that said guy. It. I can't, because I'm his mother. I mean, like fake mother, but you know what I mean. Um, but so that's how I met my husband. Just so you know, I wow. said that out loud, then left my number with his agent. He d d didn't call me and then I ran into him at a restaurant like three Ooh. months later and then he called me and we got married. Four, Four months later, we've been wow. married 40 years this year. So my point is this. Oh, wow. But my point is this. That's how I'm married. Is I saw his picture and went, oh, I'm gonna marry him. Just a guy. Yeah. Just a guy like all you guys in a plaid shirt like yours. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking, he's going, like, he who, me? What? No. Yeah, we're getting married. I'm just. It's gonna... happening. But now. that's how it happened. So when I saw the first episode of the first season of The Bear, yeah. and Carmi, we don't know what's going on. Yeah. Carmi's there, he's trying to raise money to buy beef yeah. because somebody hasn't paid the bill, and he calls his sister to bring a jacket, and they're in the back of the uh, alley, and she says, have you called mom? And he says, no, and she says, you should. And he goes, yeah, I will. That's all they say, yeah. mm -hmm. and I went, oh. I could be mom. I'm gonna play her. Mm -hmm. I swear to you, wow. swear to you. I sat on my couch, I was like, oh, I'm gonna play her. Then I watched the whole season yeah. and she's not in the first season. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna play for her. Then, didn't think about it again. Of course, the show is so great. And then the Oscar nomination came and then uh, I got a phone call. Now, oh. it was not written for me. It was not written for me, it was written for somebody else. <laughs> I was and the couple people I know were sent it and they didn't do it. Yeah. So it did, wasn't like it came to me right away. You went for but it. But then, but, it was for but you. I had put it out into it the universe in my mind and then they, the phone call came in that. and my agent yeah. said, um, I, I got a call from the bear and I said, to play the mother? And he yeah. said, yeah, and I went, yeah, I knew. And it's, it was so iconic. I knew. I knew. I knew. And that, my oh, dears, is how distance. stuff happens. Well, and yeah. and that, and, and and I'm telling you, I know one of my best friends <laughs> was offered the part. So I mean, wow. it's not like again, like I, it's just sort of how the way my life has been, and I've just, yeah. I'm, 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 what is it, Hotel California? I'm programmed to receive. You yes. speak right? it into existence. I'm just sort of like yes. saying, yeah. okay. And by the way, I'm, I'm not going to say bad words, but bad has happened to me too, mm -hmm. that I didn't. Right. Expect so it's not like it's just every well, great isn't thing. Isn't that always the way? Yeah, yeah I mean some you really know. awful things yeah. have happened, yeah. and yeah. I've had to kind of roll with it yes. and metabolize yeah. it, and then yeah. figure yeah. out things. So. And sometimes that's what you got to do yeah. when you, when you're presented with a a, a situation. Yeah. You think okay, either it's going to work or it's not, and the only way to find out is. Okay, can and I? And you go. Do I have 30, 20 seconds You got seconds 30, more? 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Yeah. There's a book. It's called Special Topics in Calamity Physics. It's mm -hmm. a novel, a mystery novel, but in the middle of this book was someone's, uh, the writer wrote, Marisha Pessel wrote, people think life is about where you go to college, who you marry, what your starting salary is. You know, that's what people think is the trajectory of life. And she says it isn't, and I quote, she said, life hinges on a couple seconds you never see coming. Yeah. Wow. And what you do in those seconds determines everything wow. from then on, and you won't know what you're gonna do until you're there. That's right. That, my friends, is my life. And that's how I'm sitting here. That's how I won that. That's how I wrote this. Like, I didn't think I was gonna write a book that day. Betty said, no, Jamie, one more sleep than Santa. <laughs> And a book popped into my head. Oh, a book for children called Just One More Sleep. Boom. So, 
We love that. Boom, 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 uh -huh. boom. All the things to Jamie Lee Curtis, her book, Just One More Sleep. All good things come to those who wait and wait and wait is available now. And you know what, members of our studio audience, do you know what you're going home with? Yes, you do. You're going home with coffee.